this video, we're going to check out the wavetable synthesis feature in the 4.0 firmware for the Deluge. Since this feature needs special wavetable files, the quality may vary depending on the wavetable sample that you load in. Let's press Shift and Synth and create a new synth. Sometimes the wavetables can get pretty loud, so we're going to turn the volume down first. Now let's press the select knob one, two, three times, and we're going to turn to wave. Now we're going to turn to file, and then bot top means we're loading in a file that will be played on all the notes. So I'm scrolling down to wavetables. That's a folder I created on my SD card. So I found some wavetable file links on the Deluge forum, and I put them into folders. So I'm going to choose classic synths, and these, they're just going to sound like tones. I'm just going to load this one in, and now let's play. Okay, so this button here in the far right, the top gold knob, scans through the wavetable. So I'm going to hold down a note and turn it. So that's just the sound of that waveform that we had. The bottom knob is going to change the amount of this to LFO2. So if I hold it down, you can hear, watch. I bring it up a little, it's going to start to scan through. You can hear a little bit. Let's go back into the menu, and I want to actually change LFO2. And I want to change the rate. So I go in here, and I'm going to go to the second button over. I'm going to hold learn down and assign it to this gold knob. Okay, so this is the rate of the LFO, so I can make it really fast or slow. So again, that's the amount, and then here's the waveform position, and then I have the LFO over here. So let's go back in, oscillator 1, we're going to turn to file. Let's just change it to something else. So yeah, that sounds wildly different. Make it a little less. Let's turn up release. Here's what we'll do, I'm just going to enter in some notes. Let's change the length. Turn it down a little. Bring it an octave up. Now let's turn this wavetable place. You can turn down the cutoff a little. So we're applying it to LFO2, the amount. And turn it up a little. So let's see what a different file would sound like here. So I'm just going to go back out here. Let's just go to base tables. Whoa. I'll do that. Okay, now it sounds completely different. And turn up the amount. Again, that's the LFO amount. We can also say we want to go back into the menu here. Let's go back to LFO2. I can actually go and change the type. So now it's square wave. Saw wave. This sounds crazy at this point. Sign, triangle. Make it really fast. Notice it changes tone as we change the shape of it. If it's a fast LFO, make it slower. 
turn it way down. Now it's just going to be scanning through that wavetable. So what I could do is hold this note down, change the wavetable of each note that I have. And then again we can change that file, see what it sounds like if we switch it out for something else. Just different tones. But yeah, it all depends on what sample set we're using. Just go back into here. And also load in a wavetable on oscillator 2. So let's go into the menu, oscillator 2, type. Let's make that wave. Now we're going to change to file, and then just choose a different one. So when we did this, it changed the bottom knob here on this control. This is now going to change the second waveform. We'll have to turn up the cutoff just so we can hear it better. In here, we have two playing now. And this is only changing the first, so why don't we animate this one too, I guess. Let's go in and change the vibrato. Slow down LFO too. Higher. Just changing the cutoff here. Higher notes. Let's change out the file here. Go to oscillator 2, change out the file there. Maybe we can animate these a little. Let's bring it lower.